we were really happy to get on that bus two and one. Um, every match, you know, was, was, was a good team and good competition. And you know, we didn't really like the way we played Friday night. Um, Duquesne handled us pretty well, but that was a very good du Duquesne team. And we, then we did like the way Saturday morning we woke up, you know, a lot more focused. Um, and you know, Cleveland State's a very good ball club, and we. We liked the way we played against them, and then even though I think physically and mentally we were tired, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but the reality is when you play two matches in a very close proximity in terms of time, um, you know, you, your kids are tired, uh, mentally and physically. But I think we battled through that, and we learned how to, to battle through those type of circumstances, and it made us tougher, and it was, of course, nice to come away with that DePaul match with a five-set win. Okay, so they're seven and six, um, you know, so they're winning, and I, when you look at the matches won and lost, um, they're battling. It's not like they're getting swept 3-0 or vice versa very often. They're, they're, those, those matches are going four and, and five sets. Um, they, they defeated a good Cleveland State team, so there's a common opponent there in five. Um, and I look for the challenge for us to be, you know, getting off that bus after, you know, driving four hours and being able to mentally focus and physically be ready to play. And, uh, you know, in Kent State, usually they're, they're a big team. Of course, we have good size now, too. So matchups there, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. And we, we can, we're really comfortable right now moving some of our athletes around in terms of um, if we want to get a certain matchup, a blocker on a certain um, attacker from the other team we're pretty comfortable rolling the, the lineup or making a sub to do that. Well, we're excited to, to play at home in front of our Mastodon fans, finally, um, in the renovated Gate Center with comfortable chairs and um, a nice fancy entrance. Um, you know, in the front lobby, I, from what I understand, will be open for fans to use that front entrance um, this weekend. So we're really excited to play in front of our home crowd and you know, eat home cooking and sleep in our own beds. Um, but we do host a very good Oakland team. Oakland's always good. They're well coached. Rob Beam is a very, very good coach. And you're right, they're always right there in terms of almost making the conference tournament. So I believe they're going to be very hungry for that this year. Um, they, they beat us last year during the regular season. Um, they, they play well against us. I know that. And, uh, you know, they handle the ball, they put the ball away, they play with a lot of enthusiasm. So we have to be ready for an Oakland team to roll in here, you know, ready for us. It's huge, you know, the Gates Center has always been kind to us. Uh, we have a loyal following of fans. Um, you know, we get the men's volleyball team there cheering for us and a lot of the other student athletes. And this is a, a volleyball savvy community too. Um, so we, we love playing in front of the high school teams that come out to support us and the campers that come to support us. Um, and of course, family and friends. And the Gates building, that gym for volleyball is in my mind the perfect venue. It's a great size. The fans get to, to sit very close to the action and be a part of that action hear and see what's going on very close up. In fact, sometimes you really have to pay attention. You might catch a, catch a ball or an athlete in your lap once in a while. But how fun, because we, we've played in the big arenas and volleyball isn't as fun there. It's not as fun to play for the athletes. You feel small. Um, and then when you come home to somewhere like the Gate Center, and we've had some other venues too that are a little bit smaller, it, it's a really fun environment. It's loud, it's exciting, and I think for fans it's, it's a really cool experience. It looks like IUPUI is off to a good start. They've played good competition. Um, they have, you know, they're young in some spots like we are, but they, um, they're well coached as well. Uh, and then you talk about the, the proximity, the whole Indiana-Purdue connection, and our teams don't usually have trouble getting up for one another, and we have good competitive matches. They also have, if you look at their roster, um, a handful of athletes from this area. So, um, you know, there's that connection too. We know those kids.